Hello, Faith family. I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and give a little scripture message that the Lord uh, showed me this morning. He brought me to Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. 333. Three, three. I've been seeing a lot of uh, repeating numbers. Uh, 111, 333, uh, 222. Three, three, two, two. They have been going crazy lately. And so even though I wasn't planning on hopping on um, and I've been dreaming a lot lately, I needed to come on here and um, give you guys an update and also uh, share some plans that I have in the works for some more videos that I'm going to be putting out this month. So the scripture reads, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Now the Lord spoke to me and he said, um, this is the appointed time and God is moving swiftly in this appointed time of December, right? We have a lot going on before the end of the year. And um, he also comforted me in this message. He said, the witchcraft that came against uh, your destiny has been destroyed. So in the months, truly November was a month of rest for me. And I was very appreciative and took full advantage of that because I really had not known rest with me and my kingdom spouse throughout pretty much all of 2021. Um, in the beginning, I had kind of a lot of stress on what was going on with my business then that sort of dissipated and then spiritual warfare just hit in the month of may and continued continued through to the month of october and so um and then i found out all this witchcraft had come against me and um which was shocking to me so i'm very thankful for that so that has been taken care of. And he said, December 4th is a day where um, the shift is going to happen uh, in the spirit world. And he said, December 10th, he said, you will know. He said, you will know. And uh, <laughs> this message is called, "You will." he said, you will know. Because the Lord wants to show you things which thou knowest not right now because they're going on in the spirit world, right? So I wrote this down. I said, God, you astonish me. I am in awe of your plans, Lord. And still there are things that I know not, right? I feel like sometimes I'm like, well, what else are you going to reveal to me? Um, but he wants you to know in this message that, that he will show you those things and you will know. He said, you will know. Um, and the emphasis is on the word will. Okay, so that's future, right? And if you don't know who your kingdom spouse is, if you don't know um, if you're going to get married, I am here to help guide the Lord through the scriptures to help you know, so that you will know. That is my job. That is what God has assigned me to do, is to help you to know, okay? So that's encouragement. Um, uh, and the Lord said, I said, I said, I pray, O Lord, uh, what would you reveal to me? Because he's been giving me many dreams about my ministry lately. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Right. And, and a lot of them had to do with my kingdom spouse. And so I would wake up and I would write them down and I would, I would meditate on them with the word. And I would sit there in prayer with God. And I would just ask him, I would say, okay, Lord, like this, this feels like you're pointing me in this direction. And he confirmed it. He said, Sarah, I want you to share your ministry online with everyone. Many of my lost children do not know what I am calling them to do. And so uh, again, he said, you will know, he said, you will know. Okay. And so this, uh, this is a preface. This is a beginning of, um, a new wine skin. Um, this is really just me ramping up in my ministry. I've had a lot of new followers. So welcome to my channel. Um, uh, yes, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to have you here. Uh, we're hopefully going to have some guests on the, the on this channel as well. Um, in the month of December, I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm going to be releasing names. Uh, so God wants me to do that as well. Um, honestly, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. So he said, you will know. So, um, 
I'm gonna share a little bit about the dream that I had last night, okay? So last night I had another dream with my kingdom spouse in it and a few um, of his friends were near him and asked me who I was in the dream because me and him were obviously very close. And uh, I said very clearly in the dream, this was a God-given dream, it was in my deep REM sleep that I said this, I said, I'm his helper. I said that out loud to these people asking me, these gentlemen who were friends with him asking me. And my kingdom spouse looked at me <laughs> and smiled with like a little grin um, and a little coy little grin, meaning he greatly approved and was also very attracted to my response because um, he agreed. And uh, as you know, in the Bible, uh, Adam, uh, Eve was created for Adam to be a helpmate. That was the, that was the word. That was the interpretation of the word was a helpmate, right? So in the stream, God spoke to me and he said, you are, you're his helper. You're his helper. Uh, because in this time, in this sensitive Kairos time, we do not share titles in the natural about who we are with our kingdom spouse. And so part of this message is also, you will know, he said, you will know. He said, you will know, okay? And in the dream, I knew. And also my kingdom spouse knew as well. Yes, I am his helper. I am his helper. So um, in this time, I am his helper because I'm growing, cultivating, and, and giving attention, attending to spiritual seeds in his life. And so in all my teachings, I exhort to teach sound doctrine. And so I'm going to read some scripture from Titus 2 uh, and kind of emphasis something that God also revealed to me in a dream. So in Titus chapter 2, it talks about older men and older women um, teaching the word. Okay, and so ch Titus chapter 2, there's been a lot of 2-2-2s two lately for me, you guys. Um, Titus chapter 2. Verse two, we'll just start at the beginning, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, okay? So I, I do my best to exhort to teach sound doctrine and exhort means strongly encourage and I give effort and energy to it. And a lot of people like my ministry online because I do um, include the word of the Lord in all my teachings, okay? So I include sound doctrine. So that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience, that the aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. This is what I strive to do. This is what I strive to teach because I'm 36 now. Um, so, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Hu love your husbands first, then love your children, okay? We'll get into that more um, when I'm married and I have kids. Whoop. It's exciting. So <clears throat> to be discreet, it goes on. For, for young women to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. So that's my job is to teach women. I do know that because of what Titus says. But young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech, that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Okay, so I included that part about young men because God is showing me that this ministry is expanding and it's going to take off like wildfire, meaning it's going to not only be me teaching women about sound doctrine, but also including men. So we'll be welcoming men into the fold um, to learn and to um, understand and to know 
I want you to share your, Sarah, I want you to share your ministry online with everyone, everyone, men and women, um, because many of my lost children do not know what I am calling them to do in their kingdom marriage. And so, um, second Timothy, Timothy, uh, chapter three, verse 16 says, we know that all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Okay. So I shouldn't exclude people just because maybe at first it might make me feel a little bit uncomfortable to teach men, um, in my ministry for kingdom marriage. Um, but truly, uh, God says that it is profitable for doctrine, meaning as long as I'm sharing sound doctrine, it's profitable for other people to hear this, meaning both men and women, okay? For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So uh, the next video that I will be sharing, I'm very, very blessed to give this update with you guys. I'm going to get a little bit personal. God has given me permission to, like I said, share names um, and also share my testimony about how my kingdom spouse and I met. Um, and I'm so in adder. I'm like really excited about this because it's beautiful. It's a really a beautiful story. Um, and I'm going to release it this month. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the next video will be called a house designed, not divided. Okay. And so thank you for joining me in this video. Thank you for following me. Please continue to share my videos and please encourage others to watch this journey that I'm on for kingdom marriage. Um, God bless you guys. I pray that you have a wonderful and blessed 12-12 of December. Remember, Exodus 12-12 is how we get ready for our kingdom marriage. I love you guys. Bye.